are marijuana customers being targeted? A pot purchase at the new shop in Brookline ended with a robbery this week. The victim had just legally bought pot when a man came up to him and said, give me the weed or I'll shoot you. And as Christina Rex explains, police say it's not the first time it's happened. The man was walking down Davis Ave when he was approached, and police believe it's because of what he was holding in his hand. They all carry them as they leave, little white bags signaling they bought marijuana at Netta Brookline. It's almost like a red flag. Brookline police say that white bag was likely the reason a man was targeted and threatened Tuesday night after he left the recreational pot shop. That story is very shocking to me. I wouldn't expect coming out of Brookline. According to the police report, as the Netta customer walked down the street away from the shop, he was followed by a man on a bike. The man saying, give me the weed or I'll shoot you, as he held his fist clenched as if he was holding the butt of a small pistol. The victim called 911. I have him. He's going down towards the J-way. Police ultimately arrested 28-year-old Adrian Thomas, who didn't have a gun. It's not the first time something like this has happened since Netta Brookline opened in March, and regular customers are torn on how it makes them feel leaving the popular spot. It's so new to the area that, you know, having more drugs on the street and knowing that it's coming from this, like, location specifically makes people easy targets. Anyone walking down the street that's not aware of their surroundings could be an easy target. I don't think me carrying this weed makes me any easier than anyone else. Police say the best way to stay safe, hide the white bag as you leave the store. We would ask people to help us and protect themselves and just conceal it. And police say a similar incident happened back in April when a man riding a bike swiped a man's Netta bag with about $100 of pot in it. They're investigating if these two situations could be connected. In Brookline Village, Christina Rex, WBZ News. We have a developed